Good day everyone, my name is Blessime C. Oabe, a medical technology intern from San Pablo Colleges Medical Center. In this video, I'm going to show you the blood collection procedure. So welcome to SPCMC Medical Center Phlebotomy Section. For the materials needed, we need the personal protective equipment, alcohol, gloves, cotton, marker, blood collection tubes, needles or syringe, sharps, and biological waste container. And now for the next step, we need to identify and prepare the patient. Good afternoon, Ano po ang pangalan niyo, sir? Prince Ruby Moreno. Mm, ano po ang kailan po kayo pinanganak? January 3, 2000. Bali, lipid profile pre-artinine, ah, meron po pala akong SBS. Nag-fasting po kayo. Kailan po last po yung kain? 9 p.m. Ah, okay. So for this procedure, we're going to use three vacuum cleaner tubes. First one will be the heparin tube. We're going to use this for the lipid profile and creatinine. Next is the EDTA tube for the HbA1c. And lastly, the sodium fluoride tube for the fasting blood sugar. Sir, pagaling na po ng kamay. Ah, meron po ba yung allergy sa latex? Wala naman. Ah, For the venipuncture procedure, firstly you have to apply the tourniquet. And then anchor and check for the vein. And then after identifying the vein, clean the site with a 70% alcohol swab for 30 seconds and allow to dry completely. Clean the site in round motion. Discard the used cotton. After opening the syringe, please check for the hub and the plunger for suction. Reapply the tourniquet. And then perform the veni puncture. Anchor the vein by holding the patient's arm and placing a thumb below the veni puncture site. And then ask the patient to form a fist so the veins are more prominent. Enter the vein swiftly at a 30 degree angle or less and continue to introduce the needle along the vein at the easiest angle of entry. Once sufficient blood has been collected, release the tourniquet before withdrawing the needle. Withdraw the needle gently and apply gentle pressure to the site with a clean dry cotton ball. And then use the fishing technique to prevent accidental needle prick. Discard the needle to the sharps container. And then, fill in the vacuum cleaner tubes according to its correct order of draw to avoid cross-contamination of additives between tubes. Out of the three tubes that we are going to use, we will first fill in the heparin tube or the green top. And then, invert the tube 8 to 10 times to ensure proper mixing of blood and anticoagulant. The next tube that we will fill in is the EDTA tube or the purple top. And then gently invert it 8 to 10 times to ensure proper mixing of blood and anticoagulant. And for our last tube, we will now fill in the sodium fluoride tube or the gray top.
and then gently invert it 8 to 10 times to ensure proper mixing of blood and anticoagulant. Discard the used items into the appropriate category of waste. And then for the labeling procedure or the most important procedure, fill in the patient's name, PIN, date and time of collection, and the code number. And then prepare the sample for the test procedure. And that's it. I hope you learned something in this video. Don't forget to like and share.